Okay, so here are three packages of DVDs and a Blu-ray from eBay. Let's open these. So these two came from the same seller, Music Mad Pie. Not really sure why they decided to post this one separately, but uh, yeah, let's open up this one first. So inside should be a copy of uh, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. And that must be the invoice. And here it is. So yeah, when I was looking for copies of See No Evil, Hear No Evil on eBay, this copy really stood out to me because it's in a red case and it says Woolworths worth it there. I had no idea that Woolworths had like put their name onto some onto certain films, onto certain DVDs. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I think it looks good. You know, I, I like the red case. This is probably quite rare because, you know, most copies are not going to have Woolworths written on them. And Woolworths, it's like a nostalgic brand to me. I remember Woolworths when I was like a little kid and everything. Uh, sadly, all, all of their, I'm sure all of their stores closed uh, several years ago in the UK. So you know it's it's a nostalgic brand to me, and yeah, I just thought I just thought that the case, the red case with the Woolworths name on it, I just thought that was really really interesting. So yeah, and also this looks like brand new. In the photographs, it kind of didn't look that new, but anyway, um, yeah. So in this film is Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. They are a great uh, would you would you say comedy double act. Um, I just think they, they work really well together, really funny. I love it when Gene Wilder, when he starts freaking out and he starts shouting and everything. I actually bought this film uh, back in the day on VHS, probably in around 1991. God knows what happened to it, but yeah, I think it's a really good film. And I think there might be some uh, special features on this one. So it says murder there. The blind guy couldn't see it, so he's blind. He's deaf. The blind guy couldn't see it, the deaf guy couldn't hear it, now they're both wanted for it. Includes behind the scenes featurette. So yeah, there's probably not that many of uh, these Woolworths copies of this film. Could be quite rare, actually. There's a description. So let's open this up. And there it is. Let's, uh, let's check out the disc. So yeah, it looks pretty much perfect, which is what I was expecting actually, because the case itself, it looks like brand new. Okay, so next are these two packages from Music Magpie. I don't know why they sent this one separately, but what's annoyed me about these is that they've used no bubble wrap. I was really surprised actually when I got this, because it's a big heavy package. Um, you know, it's full of like DVDs and a Blu-ray. I mean, how could anyone package a bunch of DVDs like this with no bubble wrap and think it's acceptable to send it like this? You know, it's like it's bad enough with just one. Because, like, if this drops on the floor, there's a decent chance, you know, a bit of the case will break or whatever will crack. But even more so with this, because there's several DVDs here, so there's more weight. If you drop this on the floor, it's probably going to cause quite a lot of damage. So let's hope nothing inside is trashed. But uh, yeah, let's open up this one. So I'm not going to be buying from Music Magpie again. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting this. It's still sealed. <laughs> no way. I can't believe it's actually still sealed. Um, it didn't look sealed in the photographs. So this is Knight Rider 2000 the movie. Now I only found out about this recently because I was looking for, um, you know, uh, the original Knight Rider series Blu-ray box sets, and I stumbled upon this, and I thought because it's got 2000 in the name, I just assumed that the movie was made in 2000. Um, but no, I think the movie was actually made in 1991. So there's like the new Knight Rider card, the new kit or whatever, or maybe it's not called kit. I'm not really sure. There's a side. So I've never seen this movie before. So it looks like a nice classic car there is going to get trashed. It's, it's come off some kind of an edge. There's the uh, the Knight Rider car. 
and God, I can't remember his name, but it's it's the guy. It's the same guy from the original Knight Rider TV series. And there's a description. So it says kit has been dismantled and the parts sold. That's it. It's called Devon Miles. So Devon Miles has managed to recover all of Kit's parts but one, a chip which has been implanted in the head of a female cop. That sounds really interesting. Um, Kit is rebuilt and installed in Michael's classic 57 shover. Hmm. And it says, meanwhile the foundation is preparing, uh, is preparing the new car, the Knight 4000, which I guess is what that one is. Alright, so let's unseal this. When was this DVD made, let's see? 2017. Um, and I was right, the film did originally come out in 1991. So this is a, uh, a four-year-old still sealed copper. Let's take a look inside. So there is a disc. Actually it's really nice artwork. Now I think this is probably the best artwork I've ever seen on a disc. So let's open up the big one. And hopefully nothing inside is wrecked. So, some of you from the 80s might recognise this. So straight away I'm noticing that with a lot of these DVDs, they look like brand new. So it just makes it even more of a shame to send them out in, in a package without any bubble wrap. Because they could just really easily get wrecked. So, let's see. Alright, so we've got a nice big pile of DVDs there. So, let's take a look at this. The man, the machine, it's Street Hawk, the complete series. So yeah, so this is a show that I watched when I was a kid in the 80s. It was on TV around the same time as like Knight Rider and Airwolf. So Knight Rider, I think that was like the first one where you've got this like, you know, you've got like a futuristic vehicle, it's in black. And then two other shows came on TV. One was Street Hawk, so it features like a futuristic black bike. And then there was Airwolf, which features like a futuristic black helicopter. Let's take a look at the back. And it says, Enjoy for the first time ever all 13 episodes of this much loved 1980s motorcycle contender tonight, Rider. So, yeah, I was quite surprised when I found out there was only 13 episodes of this series. I'm not really sure what went wrong for the show because it didn't really seem like there was anything wrong with the show. It, you know, it's to me, it's like a really decent show. From what I remember, this was like a, a well made show, I think. You know, it didn't seem like a bad show or anything like that, so I'm not really sure why only 13 episodes got made. So it's saying that the motorcycle is capable of incredible speeds of up to 300 miles an hour and immense firepower. The original pilot episode on there, all 12 original episodes. Um, unbroadcasted pilot. That sounds interesting. Featuring different Street Hawk firepower. Uh, Street Hawk, the making of a legend. Brand new 41 minute documentary. Stills galleries, biographies, episode synopsis, series synopsis, motion menus, eight page collector's booklet. Cool. Didn't know there was a collector's booklet in this. Alright, so let's open this up. So we've got three discs there. And let's take a look at this, uh, this booklet. Oh, we've got another disc there. So 
So it's talking about the episodes there. And you've got like this artwork. And more episodes. So let's take a look at the other box set that I've got. And this is bottom the complete series. So I think this is just such a great comedy. And uh, yeah, Rip Mail, he died a few years ago. Um, both of these guys used to be in a show called The Young Ones, which I used to watch, which I think is a great show. I was actually thinking of getting like um, The Young Ones box set, but to be honest, it's like I've seen every episode so many times now that I'm just not really that interested in watching them anymore. So let's take out these cases. So there we have series one. So yeah, these two guys, they're just so unlucky with women. Especially this one, is still a virgin. Um, he's basically an incel. Well, not the not the the, uh, the women hating kind. He just basically, he can't get a woman to save his life, to be honest. Um, let's see, we've got some special features there. Scene selection, series one fluffs. So I think that might be bloopers. So this is series two. And the special feature on this one is series two fluffs. And series three. Special feature, bottom fluff, extended scenes and outtakes from series three. So yeah, you get you get a lot of over the basically their apartment that they live in, it's like it's really it's like really dirty, like the walls are really dirty and stuff. And there's a lot of like over the top violence, like hitting each other over their heads with like frying pans and TV sets and you know repeatedly punching someone in the mouth and like all the teeth are flying out. It's just really kind of over the top in a uh, in like a comedic way. So let's take a look at this one, the Lawn Mower Man. This is a really great film. I like it a lot. I love. I love the CGI in it, like at the time, I think it was cutting edge, you know, it looked amazing. But even now, I, I love, I still really love the look of early CGI, it just has like a certain look about it. Kind of almost like it's, like it's very real, yet very synthetic, is that the right word? At the same time, it's like some, it's like some other alternate reality, or whatever. And I think I made a mistake with this one. I got the uh, the 10th anniversary edition. Now, there's another edition of this, and I'm sure it has way more features than this one. Um, and, you know, whenever I buy a DVD or Blu-ray on eBay, I always look for the versions which have the most features, but this one, it seems to have less features than, um, than a different version. I think it's just the regular version. So it's kind of odd that this 10th anniversary edition which came out after the other edition, which has, which seems to have more features on it. It's strange that the 10th anniversary edition seems to have less features on it. You know, so it's like, what actually makes it uh, the 10th anniversary edition then? You know, I would think, because it's a 10th anniversary edition, that it would have more features on it. So let's check out the disc. I actually forgot to show the discs in, in the, uh, the bottom box set. I'll show those in a minute. So there's a disc. And there's the uh, the chapter in there. So let's have a look at these discs. When you've got other other DVDs there, so there's the young ones that I was talking about. You've got French and Saunders, Victoria Wood, not the nine o'clock news. That's quite good. Bottom uh, fast show. So there's a disc there. Let's see if there's any artwork behind it. I think I can see something behind it. Okay, so that, yeah, it just shows you the chapters and stuff. And I guess this disc will be pink. No, it's not. Oh, that's a surprise. Because this disc is red and it says bottom in red. Um, on, the, on this one it says bottom in pink. I was thinking that the disc was going to be pink, but it's not. It's actually got some pictures on it there. <clears throat> so let's see what this one is like. It's a blue disc. 
so oh I got it wrong I was I did say at the start of this video that it's a bunch of DVDs and one blu-ray but it's actually two blu-rays so this is Red Dwarf back to earth the director's cut I really really like Red Dwarf it's just such an awesome awesome show one of my all-time favorite shows so there's a Red Dwarf crew there and for any of you who don't know anything about Red Dwarf it's basically a UK science fiction comedy it's just I don't even know how to describe it it's just it's just such an awesome comedy and I find it really funny as well so I've got some high definition extras there oh it's just subtitles audio video format oh there they are there's the extras um, exclusive documentary making of back to earth Featurettes, deleted scenes and smeg ups, web videos, PBS announcements, Craig's piece to camera, and you've got standard extras there, broadcast trailers, blip verts, April Fool's video, channel continuity announcements, bonus features, cast commentary, director commentary, all new exclusive documentary, The Making of Back to Earth, deleted scenes, smeg ups, featurettes, trailers, web videos, photo gallery, easter egg. And disc 2, bonus features. Disc 1, the director's cut, episodes 1, 2 and 3, Back to Earth. Patrick Stewart, Christmas Carol. I just love Christmas films that take place in the Victorian era. I think this maybe takes place in the Victorian era. Um, I think it's just such an, an awesome film, which I always like to watch at Christmas. So yeah, the film is about Ebenezer Scrooge there. And the film was made in 1999. Oops. <laughs> so there's a disc. Condition is great. Alright, another you. Starring once again, Richard Pryor, Gene Wilder. I've never actually seen this film before. Um, but, you know, because it's got Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder in it, I thought it's got to be good. And I watched the trailer for this on YouTube and it looks like a film that I'll, I'll enjoy. And let's open this up. Stir Crazy, once again, Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor. This is another film that I bought back in the day, back in around 1991 on VHS. And I don't know what happened to this one either. So just a really funny film. Special features filmographies. I don't know if there's any special features on this one. No, there doesn't seem to be any mention of them. So yeah, basically the comedy pair, they end up in jail. And another disc that's been put in the wrong way around. Freddy vs. Jason. I've not seen all of this film. I think several years ago I saw either the last half of the film or the last quarter and I actually liked it quite a lot and if I remember correctly a lot of people say that this film is, isn't that good but I enjoyed it a lot. So we've got special features there. We've got commentary by director Ronnie, you, Robert England, Freddie and Ken Kazinga, Jason. Deleted alternate scenes, including the original opening and ending. Feature at Gallery, covering the film's development, art direction, makeup, effects, stunt work and more. Visual effects, exploration with the creative team. Music video, How Can I Live by 3 something. It's hard to read this because it's like the writing's really small. Trailer and TV spots, publicity, promotion. And again, another disc that for some reason has been put in 
backwards, I'm not really sure why. And lastly, we have this one, Woman in Red. Just Gene Wilder this time, no Richard Pryor. Um, yeah, I've been looking into like films that have Gene Wilder in them because I just think he's a great comedian. And uh, I came across this one, never seen it before, watched the trailer for it on YouTube and it looked quite good. And there is the disc, so yeah. So yeah, so these are all the DVDs and Blu-rays that I've received today. We have Street Hawk, the complete series, Bottom, the complete series, Knight Rider 2000, Lawn Mower Man, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, Stir Crazy, Another You, Woman in Red, A Christmas Carol, Back to Earth, and Freddy vs. Jason. I think that, that one is uh, upside down. But yeah, thanks for watching.